guess on the BMSS. Um, and I, I hope basically the, the last sheet on this Atkin is I took they they circulated a couple of different documents yeah. and it seems like their last provision had left some of the stuff that we thought were was important off the second revision. So what I did is I just kind of did a compilation of everything on this back sheet. I did it in spreadsheet and just put it on this back sheet. I don't see anything. Come on in, Mr. Okay. Hey. 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 mistakes that we've been making right. and I think we identified you know two or three or four of those things yes we need to look back at the uh, you know some of the stuff that they found it, it needs to be investigated um, but we need to make sure that we get on the things uh, get on uh, things quickly that will keep us from making the same mistakes again in the future um, so, I, I don't know what to do other than to tell BMSS that we need to, can they kind of give us a schedule for looking, off, looking at all this stuff? I mean, I know they have plenty of personnel and they can run parallel lines. I don't think that's yeah. an issue. No, I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, they don't have, they may have eight folks yeah. over here doing, yeah. uh, I, I would think that, uh, we can vote on them get started and ask them, you know, as they get started, just to let us know what they're working on and kind of give us a schedule as they get yeah. into it or whatever. Yeah. What, what's going to be easier to get to and why? Yeah. You know, some, some, some of these things may take months. Yeah. To um, figure out. And they, and they can help us with the 2022 budget in 30, 30 days, start, you know. Yeah. They have a time frame of completion, like. It's going to take six months a year. I would imagine some of this stuff is going to take a pretty good while. I was looking at it, yeah. Um, I mean, we can just kind of, if you want to kind of just look at each of them, uh, since we're balancing the interfund transfers, receivables, and payables, that's probably not going to take a really long time. Right. If they have somebody to hop on it, I'm going to guess maybe 30 to 45 days at the most. Compiling and organizing city council ordinances and resolutions. That's probably going to take 90 days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 2020 audit ready, readiness. I think they've done just about everything that they needed to do. Uh, I think um, it's just a matter of who the mayor is going to decide to appoint to do the 2020 audit. Right. Um, and I, they're working on 19, right? Car Riggs and Ingram were working on the one that was unfinished. If they started and was unfinished, uh, yes, Car Riggs and Ingram were working on that. Uh, I think they were already, the, the mayor decided yeah. uh, to do two. Okay. okay. So he From did. What I understand, he signed for two years. Okay. The last so, man. All right, so 18 and 19. Got in. Yeah. So that would have been I don't 18, know if 18, 19, or 19, 20. I bet it was 18 and 19 and 19. And 20. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, of course, the uh, bank reconciliations and unreconciled accounts, again, you know, maybe 30 days. That shouldn't take very long. Um, and they will be on standby to make, to help us. Basically, what happens is when you have an audit, the auditors are going to come in and they're going to say, okay, we found these things. You need to make journal entries in order to get
get this stuff right. right. So they recognize that we're in transition with the treasurer. So what they have said is we'll be more than happy to make those journal entries on your behalf right. so that you're in line with what the audit finds and, right. and says needs to be corrected. Right. So they're more than happy to, to help. And, that, and, that, and now, now I was writing some policy or procedure or whatever that we need to put in place to make sure that we do it in the future. Yes. As that happens. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. because I think we identified some of the issues in the past where they would the audit would cite these issues and nobody would ever make the journal. Right. Nobody would follow through on it. Nobody would make the, so that was a lot of the problem. Uh, assist in developing comprehensive policies and procedures manuals. I think we've already decided that has led to many a problem. Yeah, and that is a major focus and that is gonna take a lot of work. 2022 budget, that is what it is. Um, review some of the resolutions and ordinances to make sure that, uh, you know, we're doing things the way we've approved to have them done. Um, I think the, uh, the mayor wanted to uh, get them to touch base on this, these two resolutions that have been floating out there for a little bit. Can I speak on that? Yeah, sure. When you say church basis on the two resolutions, are you talking about the two, the two resolutions? What the mayor would send to us? That's a, yeah. That's the one that where well, it's actually three. Yeah. Here. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Can I say something on that? Sure. Um, the mayor can recommend that. Uh, the, the mayor can recommend that any resolution, but the council of the ones that set the resolution in the stuff in place. Right. And according to, if you read the examiner, uh, state examiner report, it says that, that we were supposed to bring, put some resolution stuff in place. And that's what we immediately did. It, 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 they were put in place, but it's not, it's not the employee, nor them to tell us how much money that they wanted to spend. The council puts that in place and said this because we are the ones that owe the finance. Right. So I don't, um, for me, I don't, I don't see what's wrong with the resolution. Yeah, and, and, and I don't either, and I, I know actually what we did was, what the previous council did. I like the one that Billy gave, Billy put one there. He gave him a, well, he even gave an extra, Ten extra five thousand. Yeah. So we, we can't be too lenient on, 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 that's our problem, what they were talking about. Yeah, you can't be too lenient with the city finance. They're right. spend money the way they don't spend. Right. And I don't think that I was reading up too. Employees don't have authority to spend uh, city finance. The council could control city finance. And I think that's what the statute was. Yeah. The statute said that the city of Lafayette has the authority to spend money on city Council did was give him authority up to five thousand right. dollars, so it made it easier for right. him. And the wording in his resolution was saying that he wanted to take that back away, yeah. which was in. I think I think what we got to do really uh, is probably outline more specifically. I know y'all had a meeting about this. I remember about exactly what a contract is, yeah, and how that's defined. And uh, and I think that'll give them. Well, but it's, it's, if you go to your selector reading, uh, your handbook in the context uh, that we have, it defines what a contract is. Yeah. And it defines how he's supposed to execute the contract. It, 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 specific, it, it specific tells tells them, like if you want, like you just had for your, you want to do the curve, mm -hmm. you want to fix your curve. <clears throat> you could, you was to put the con, you was to, to make sure when you got ready to put it in line. Yeah. first, but you want to make sure the company to the clerk, mm -hmm. make sure that the clerk, all his business is, is, is that, you know, right, license and everything. Mm -hmm. the, before the attorney draw up the contract, you got to make sure that right. everything's right. done. Right. And then you would bring it before us. Brother attorney to draw up the contract yeah. how much it's going to cost. And, and the city's the city has some policies and procedures surrounding that, but they aren't 
as detailed as they need to be. Yeah. Like, like just what you said right mm -hmm. there is not in the city code yeah. uh, under our policies and procedures. So we just got to be more detailed about it. Right. Yeah. How it's supposed to be the steps. It's exact steps. Because I, I know how, I've, I've never, it doesn't mean I say it, if you specify it in, 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 in it starts with the clerk. Hey, oh. hey it's all with a clerk officer. Just show up anytime. <laughs> yeah. It's just like to your point, when the three of us come in, we don't need to be figuring out what no, process you need to get through. But you know, that's why somebody we, should have handed us something and right. says this but, is a procedure. But it was there. It was, it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But see, the worst thing happened is, can I say this? Sure. See, <laughs> everybody is supposed to be on the same court page. Procedures. But when you don't have everybody go and take training, like when we first went, mm -hmm. that when y'all first went, yeah. when you don't have everybody there to take the training, everything that you don't have two trainers on procedures. Mm -hmm. Remember, we went first and then the mail room. Mm -hmm. It was the same thing telling us our duties and what we could do with right. and the thing. And then they gave us a book. Mm -hmm. So if we stay within what our duties and require. And then when we don't understand, that's why we go to our selective reading. Our selective reading in the other one that I gave you, I sent you, it tells us all the way what we can do and what we can. And we don't even have to figure out, and it tells us when we come to, when we can't get that decision about, uh, do we want to give the money back that we said to keep the pro post there for, the next the, priority. The emergency. Mm -hmm. So it's our choice to do, we can do either way. We can have a public hearing, we take the money back this time. Say, uh, let me mm -hmm. For the jazz on the grave. You could either let take it back, or either we can do set up to do for a public hearing in the near future. Let's see what this, the public hearing say about the jazz on the grass. Do they want to continue with this? Yeah, you know, open to the public. Right. Yes. Yeah. And so we wouldn't have no no saying we in violation because we wasn't in violation. Yeah. We, we didn't break anything. So. Good stuff. Uh, prepare and schedule the analysis on the CARES Act spending. That's something that they'll just be running parallel on. That's probably not going to take 30 days. Uh, detailed analysis of discretionary spending, same way. Um, prepare and schedule a detailed analysis of ongoing city contracts. You know, that might take 60 days to gather all that information because hopefully we have it all, but. From, from 2018 to probably. Uh, oh, so that's probably gonna take a good 60 to 90 days. I did, yeah, I see that now, 2018 to present. Um, let's see, prepare uh, and schedule a detailed analysis is the same thing. Just kind of. And another thing too, you should gave them too. Uh, you should gave them the Melton versus Bowie, the Supreme Court decision on what what the councils uh, were we doing wrong or what what we did. It's in that it's in that case of all the information that. Uh, that was it. They was on. The, it went in the council favor. Yeah. It did not go in the mayor favor because we had uh, what's his name, the attorney? Siegel. Siegel. Yeah. Siegel knew the like. Some of us knew what we were doing. Some did. So what I would say that if if, if you was the, you should get them that too. You should have got that. You could. You can go on. You could go on the uh, the website and put it up. They'll be. They'll ask us for information as they get through. Yeah. No. IT wise, um, I think we, I, I, I would strongly encourage us to have an outside firm do a comprehensive evaluation. Oh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is. And, we, and you know what? The leaks, we tried, Mario tried to do that too. Yeah. We tried to do IT in the box. Yeah. And they gave them the, the blue. Yeah. But the IT in the box, we brought that back from the league because most city has IT in the yeah. box. And that will help us be, help us more, but it's gonna be hard to get. Yeah. Well, I think, I think having somebody 
looking at how we've been doing things for years and and, and how we're going to move forward uh, is vital. And especially, I mean, if we're going to look at doing some some type of infrastructure plans, you know, moving forward, I think it'd be good to have a consultant here when we talk about it. And she said that she, they said they would come. We saw them at the, the last convention. Uh -huh. They said, uh -huh. yeah, they said that they would come. I said, maybe you could talk to the new council. Because, see, I'm, I'm a member of the secretary. And uh, she would like to come. She set up a, a schedule for her to come and talk to us. She would come to the council meeting and talk to us. Uh -huh. So, BMSS, is there? Um, I mean, I don't see anything needs to be. I, 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 on all of it tomorrow. I think, yeah, I think we're going forward with that. The only thing I'm missing is when he took out some stuff. I just, I just, well, we did go back. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah I, but I disagree with what he did because that's, that's, our, that's our call. That's why I put okay. it back in there. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but I was going to say something to you. Um, uh, and as we get into this, I mean, this is going to develop. It should I mean, be. This is going to change. It's going to morph. It's going to turn. Something will go away, and it'll. It, it, this is a, you know, this will change as we go through the process. Now, um, I'm not going to be there tomorrow night. Okay. I'm going to be out of town. So okay. if somebody can, Clay, can you? Uh, yeah, can I, you I, can, can I just I bring it up as well. Give me an elbow and love you. Recommendation from the finance committee okay. to uh, yeah we didn't get to the okay yeah yeah okay moving on to uh, city treasurer and tax collector I just posed in the agenda I just kind of posed some questions that I felt like we needed to just start really just a conversation starter and I can I can't see from the layer on the is this the way that we do it now? Right. Or where this document came from? Yeah, that's the that's the way. That was the whole procedure from the last council that set that up and then and then in the administrative committee. Yeah. I think the last administrative committee meeting we had, we had an HR director. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's, okay, that's why it's red. Yeah. Okay, right there. So we're probably we'll ask Nikki, we'll make sure it got posted. So we're probably down to uh, Step forward, right? Have we placed have the, the job been placed? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask Nikki. We need to find out that job should have been up there. Yeah, 30 days. 30 days, yeah. The mayor said he felt like it would be done Friday. Nikki, do you know if the, if the uh, Ms. Yeah. Ms. Rutledge? Right. Ms. Do you know if Ms. Rutledge got those, posted, those jobs posted or not? I didn't see them when I was down here earlier. You did not? I did not see them. They don't have the, that, you know, the jobs from the treasurer. Yeah. Does it go, does this job go up on the website through the unemployment office and all that? It's if it doesn't, we need to find out from the, does it, is it out there? Somebody need to it's tell us. It should be up on the website, right? It should be on the website. It should be on the city employee website. I didn't see it. Maybe I just don't know what the Well, he, he, he said that he was going to put it up, and he needs to put this up. Those those are our position. We need them up. July be here so fast. Yeah, we need to make sure those get up. They need to be up. Now is the, I, because I guess one of the things in, in the announcement was, is the HR director going to receive the resumes that come in? Well, what she does, what she do, the resume comes to her in weekends because okay. you have to do the interview. You have to right. see their resume. Right, right, right. So what, 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 what the president, who, I'm just, I'm going to tell you how we, you see how we do. You got to, she got to send them in to her and we got to get a copy of each one that come in because when you set that day to do the interview, you need to have them. That's who's yeah. on that yeah. committee that's going to be looking. Is That's it, the way we do. Yeah, it is, it is not a. See this. See this is website. this is wrong. This is wrong. This job should be up. It should it should be up. We got an HR person. Can you reach? Fight. Can you reach out to Donna tomorrow? Yes. And ask her. I told him I'm not going to be here tomorrow night. I'm going to be 
out of town. I'm gonna be fairly busy tomorrow. I mean, just reach out to me if you need me. I'll, I'll make time, but it's probably not gonna be on my radar. But. Can I ask you a question? Sure. sure. Have you uh, put? Okay. Have you put um, what 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 the body of this council required for the mayor just to be there on? What? Because his his input should not. His input, he should be present to be, to hear the interviews. It's not his decision to make who we select because that's our appointment. This is, what, this is what I would prefer. I would prefer for him to make suggestions as to who he would like for us to consider no. for an interview. I, I, I would like his feedback. I mean, I, yeah, but not, no, no, we can't change. That's our point. It, it is. But you, I'm not saying you have to do anything he says. I'm just saying I'd like his input. I mean, I, I can. I think, I think it'd be good to have his input. In, you know, input getting down to three people. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, yeah. that seems reasonable. Right. You basically just got to know who you work with. Right. Yeah. 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 No, we, no, 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 y'all misunderstand me. Y'all misunderstand me. That is not what I'm saying. Okay. I understand what you are saying, but you guys should be able to, you are an elected official to make that decision oh, yeah. for that. Listen to me now. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just speaking and, and I'm quite, listen to me. That is our appointment position. That is our decision who we want to put over our city family. It should not be up to his decision to pick three people to make the decision of the not city. Not pick three people, just to help suggest. Suggest, yeah. but I, I'm, but I our mean, suggestion might be different than his suggestion. I'm, I'm, I know I'm saying through the, through the process, he'd be involved in the process of two, three people, not just him. I'm not saying but can I, just the mayor chooses these three people, right? Yeah. But the mayor is part of the committee. I know he's a part. Well, my thing is this here. I didn't look at it like y'all. Well, well, the mayor may assign somebody to do his job. You know, like in, in Tuscaloosa, uh, all the all the appointments are, are mayoral appointments, but they have a committee that that selects the candidates yeah. up to that final position then the mayor. mayor. Well, I want it done right. I yeah. don't want it done like that. I don't want us to go back into that shabby. I don't want, because when the mayor picks his people, we are never involved in nothing that he picks. <clears throat> when it comes to our appointment power, I want us to do what we're supposed to do. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm speaking from a, 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 I'm not new to the game. I know. So that's why I'm saying that I don't want no nobody picking nobody, coming here, friend the mom, friend, because we need somebody in our in our office, in our finance office, that's gonna do our finance according to the way it's supposed to be run in our city. Because yeah. that is our choice. So that's why I'm saying, y'all got your own thought, but I'm just speaking in my way. Yeah. So so the in, in this procedures for city and council appointed positions and interviews, the the committee is the finance committee, correct? Mm -hmm. it's so, us. so so the finance committee is is involved in this all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. So okay. there's never a point where we're not going to be involved. I didn't. We're, no, we're no. Just, we're just we're just asking that the mayor be involved with us up up to the up to the final three. And then, and then it'll just be just us. But then we might have a we might have a different opinion on our final three because it's our point. That's right. It's our point. It's not his point. I know that. But you <laughs> see, like the way you tell it is like his point. So no, you no, giving no, no, him. No. It's like to that's me. Not, that's not. <clears> but I look at it like you giving your your authority to give to him to let him make the decision on who I find it. Is not, that's not what it's I'm like saying. me and you walking up to the Coke machine and I'm saying, Miss Janie, they got Coke, they got Dr. Pepper, and they got Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite? That's right. You might say Dr. Pepper, and I'm like, well, I like Dr. Pepper too, but right now I'm on the Mountain Dew. So I'm well, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. speaking as a, a part, I am a part of the finance 
committed. But I'm just saying, I want this thing done right. I do not want no shady stuff. I want us to be able to get a finance, a treasure, a tax collector in this city where we don't have no, no, no headache. We don't need that. We need to get, we don't want nobody connected to nobody coming up in here. Being well, people are going to be connected. I mean, no, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying right now is screwed up. It's screwed up. I put it like we got too many families and friends right now wanting to see the city. I don't know that I disagree with that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I've done, Clay can take it back to the business with family. I can too. Sometimes it's challenging. trying to play no game. I want this thing done right this time. I want us to, to get somebody in here and I want us to this council to do their the diligent job what they supposed to do. Those are our positions and I hope that we do what's right. Let me ask you something. If we end up picking somebody that you not agree with no, I don't look at that, that job. That, 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 I look at the application, qualification, what, what they've done. So uh, what? The, for all of the positions, the job no, that's, that's what I'm saying. The diploma. So if we end up, if the council end up picking somebody that you're not agreeable with, you still going to be in confrontation with what no. you don't like. And what I'm you not going to, I go by, I'm not picking people because I hear you. I'm, when I look at an application, I look at their qualification. I even look at their job, where they worked at. I looked at the, the what they've done, uh, and uh, sometimes, yeah. sometimes yeah. you have to look, you have to check too. Yeah. It's just like it's yeah. just like some of us, like council people sitting up there. We got you don't, you don't think they don't check and look at all of us and see where we at and what we doing. Are we are we being faithful, being truthful up here? They they look at that too now. See, we got to look at. When we ran for God, office, God looks at it, it, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and that's exactly what I'm saying. If I said that we got a tax collector, so-and-so, she's from, I said she's from Georgia. They, they only give us four years. I mean, they have a choice to pick somebody up the next four years if they want to, because we elected. We yeah, not. but when we took an oath, when we take oath, yeah, you're taking an oath and you swear. Yeah, like you just said, God watch no way. We, yeah. we doing the right thing. Okay. To do. Well, so that's so what I'm just, saying. I'm speaking in general, like, if it's not the person that you want. It's not a person that I want. I look at uh, he's, saying, he's saying based on the application, oh, the person yeah. that you want. He's not saying your oh, friend. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was the automatic. <laughs> he's saying the person that you think is the most qualified. Yeah. Oh, somebody okay. else may disagree and think that somebody else is. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I got you now. Would, would, would you still be in confrontation? No, I would not be in confrontation if the hard critiques of that person. If I look at, if they say so-and-so came from Georgia, she was, uh, it tells you specifically that that person has to be undone in, in that field. Right. And then it tells you that you have how many years, and you look at all that, and then you look for yourself. Sometimes, because we have already, some of us did our own, we look at the background. And then we had some people that came and gave us some that wasn't even, that did nothing. I believe once we get to those, those three and then. Hey, I'll try it. I think it would be. Finance, being his own self, being a finance person. And once we narrow it down to three, I think it's going to be top, top quality type. Exactly. You know what I mean? I mean yeah, they're going to have to have a qualification. And they're going to be nobody you pick and choose. Yes. Like that. I like it, we like it, somebody else like it, whatever, whatnot. I, mean, I just wanted to be fair. They're going to be the top three. Yes. Now, whoever's going to be the one, I, don't, I, I can't, I'm not going to say it, just that vote on it and narrow it down. Chair? If you could, be Rick Husband, one thing that Jane said about it, if the council is not involved in the mayor's selection for his mm -hmm. people in any kind of form to start with, Whatever restrictions y'all put on y'all place or whatever allowances y'all place here, I would at least apply to the other side of the administrative 
over to you ought to have a chance to select those as opposed to it just being on one side of the I, I, I agree with you 100%. My, the way I, and I, I, the way I live my life and, and handle myself professionally is I try to always be above approach. And just because somebody else doesn't give me equal share, that doesn't mean I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do what I think is right. And in, in the end, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recommend who I think is the best candidate. And I think I, think I can. What I would like to do. And the fact, the fact is, in this situation, the mayor is the treasurer supervisor. Right. Yes. And, and, and the tax and license supervisor. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got to be there in day to day. We aren't going to be there. We can't tell yeah. him what to do. Legally, we cannot tell them what to do in day to day operations. We can operation. tell them what to do. So, so, so whoever's working with them, and when I say working with them, I mean their supervisor, they need to be able to get along with That's it, at the very yeah. least. Wow. And, and I think if there's a if there's a personality conflict there, then we need to know about it. Yeah. And that and that's what I'm saying. If the mayor can be involved up to that three person point, then 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 he will say, you know, if there's somebody there that he has a personality conflict with, he can say, I just I don't know, I don't see myself working well with it. And now we can take that and we can say, well, you know, their qualifications outweigh that, you know, but but at least we know when we're going into this that there's gonna be an issue. Or, or we may say, well, this person is not quite as qualified, but he doesn't know Mayor Perkins from a, from Adam, and 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 but he seems like he'll they'll get along. So we may take that person instead, you know. And, and but we need the mayor. Well, I know. I, I, I'm just, Well, I, I'm, I have no problem with that. But my thing is that I don't want him making decisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, well, I, I don't. That's what I'm saying. I'm not gonna make decisions. I, may I add something? Yes. Um, I, in the in the services for BMSS, can we get them to add immediate help hiring job description qualifications and training of our treasurer and, and tax? Yes. That, that, you, will you pencil that in? Yeah, I did. Yeah. What I would also like to do is I would like to ask BMSS to do a couple of things. I would like them to review the resumes, mm -hmm. if they will. Mm -hmm. I would like them to formulate some interview questions for us and I would even consider asking them to join us for our, our, our three interviews. Can I ask you this? Why are we I'm very concerned with this. Why are we putting B and MS on for to do our due diligence as to why the council for making decisions for the city in the treasure office? I can make the decision. I want as much information as I can possibly get in order to make a good decision. Gather information. I just want them to help me gather information. They know, I know pretty much what, the, it, what it takes to The be finance there. committee is this whole panel, the That's whole right. body of the council. That's right. The, you, you just, like you just said, you can make a decision. Yeah. No, the, the finance committee is the whole body well, of the council. I mean. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you say that, <laughs> The, the, the finance is the whole body of the council. Right. Right. So my thing is that what you just said, it kind of dawned on me when you said that uh, I'm going to ask them to interview, to look at all of the application, whoever you submit. Review resumes, the formulate review, questions, review their, and what else form, was it? Formulate questions. Yeah, I would like them to review the resume. Come up with some interview questions. Yeah. They think it may be a, a couple of important questions for us to ask during the interview process. Yes, Dad. Hang on, let it finish before. And then I wouldn't be opposed if one of them wanted to sit in on the interviews with us. And then sit in. We're paying them. Are we paying the guests to do all this? Yeah, we have like to pay them. Yeah. Oh, no. No. I disagree. I disagree with you, Harvey. I disagree with that. We're not paying, we paid, we brought BNS in here to, to, uh, to go in the finance office, we said to work with our, all of the other things. We didn't bring BS in here to, uh, to do our, our job. Cause you, it's like, I disagree with you. Honestly, I really do. I disagree with you, what you just said, because uh, we're not, we don't have money to 
paid BNS to do that. BNS was in here for one purpose that you brought in here that they said that was going on with this city. They would come in here to find out what has happened with all these accusations that were said. That's what I was looking for BNS to do. I wasn't expecting BNS to take out our appointment of things duty and go do to pick and look at the interview and make their decision. We're the ones that were elected here to make that decision on the city how things were going to be. Now, we all mean you, we all right, but when you said that, and then we gotta pay them? May I say something to you? Uh, I, I, think it, I think it's important to have professionals that do this for a living to have their expert advice whenever possible. And right now, the city finances are in, a, in complete disarray. And, and I think it's in it's It's in it's, it's, it's not, being no, a wreck or a play. Please finish. You can finish. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving the, this meeting. I'm, I'm walking out right now this time. I, I disagree. I'm walking out. <laughs> Get my curve. And, and, and I, I think it's as important now to get the right person as it will ever be. And, and uh, so, you know, if we, can, if we can get the help of some professionals in this, then, then I don't disagree with that. I mean, what, what, to what extent they can help us, I mean, I don't know. They may say no, I'm not doing this. Yeah. They may say no, you need to do it by yourself. But I don't think it's going to hurt to ask. Yeah. And here's the reason. And, and, I, and I also think if they, you know, if they're helping with hiring, job descriptions, qualifications, and training, then, then, you know, if they if they get all that together for us, then that'll give us a better idea of what we're looking at and looking for. Because I mean, that's you know, all that should be written into law. Yes. All right. Please. When we get BMSS involved, and what they are going to do is basically what our HR person is doing. And in Amen. order for them to obtain the resumes and the applications, then they'll have to receive them from HR, correct? Right. And then what happens is you are now putting personnel information out to a company that's contracted for the city. Yeah, we have to disclose that. And so then, so see, they're 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 last. Well, you know, the resumes are public. Resumes for appointed positions are public information. Mm -hmm. So that so as long as we aren't putting personal information out, then it, I mean we don't need to know like personal information, like background checks and stuff like that that HR does. We all we need is resumes. That's that's all we're going to be judging, right? Yeah. I mean we we can't judge, we can't discriminate no. based on the their personal info. No, I don't think. And, well, and, and I, well, last procedure that I was part of with the council, they had a board. You made a board was made up of Val Jones right. uh, because she had done it for years. Yeah, you all can, yeah, you can yeah. request her to be a part of it. She was a part of the interview process as well. Yeah. Um, we had like, if it was a police chief, we had a retired police chief from somewhere mm -hmm. that helped formulate questions and also HR should have a um, rating sheet that they can give you all and it helps with rating. I have a rating sheet, but I don't know if they have changed it since then. So, so, so Nick, you know me well enough. Right. I'm, I'm, not being a, I'm not being a smart aleck, yeah. but I'm being a smart aleck. What the heck does a retired police chief know about being a treasurer? No, what I'm saying, I just use that as if it was a police, like you'll need like a, a, a retired treasurer or a police treasurer. It was just, police right, gotcha. last I mean, year. Okay. I got you. I'm like, I don't want the treasurer trying to pick the police chief. Right. Uh, I got you. I'm with so, you. So, maybe just get, maybe, let's do this. Let, why, don't we, why don't we lay our eyes on what the application package mm -hmm. and the interview questions look like? And if they don't, if they, if we think they may need a little bit more meat, then maybe we can go to BMSS and say, hey, do you guys have some, you know, some some yeah. suggestions for some good interview questions? Well, well, the, the um, so this this goes through the committee, uh, the committee, the committee, and that's that's what I'm wondering here, uh, where. Uh, okay, the committee selects additional members to help with the interview process. So we, we, 
That's step two right here. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 what we have to select as a committee, we have to select some an inter an interview committee. Mm -hmm. Right. And and um, and so how do how do we create this interview committee? Uh, that's that's where that's where we don't have we don't have a process on that. Yep. You know. So I mean, right now we're the committee. So we're we just supposed to name two people, or right. do you have some information regarding that? <laughs> <laughs> the committee selects how many is going to sit in on the interview. You all come up with we want whoever else on it, and that's among the committee. And I'm sure y'all will be able to figure you know figure out who all you all want. Someone may know a, a professional CPA or a professional treasurer or something that's retired. Or, yes, and you can ask them would they sit on it. That's one other person. Uh -huh. uh, HR is already going to sit on it, but if you also wanted to include uh, the former HR director, Ms. Val Jones, who is very astute and knowledgeable of all the tests and everything that's been taken over the years. That's, that's former? Yes, former Dr. HR. Val Jones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and she can sit in with Ms. Liz if, since it's new to Ms. Liz, but that's another person that can sit on that brings tons of information and tons of knowledge that's done it like forever and a day. All right, so, so if we were to select an interview committee and, uh, and we had Mrs. Val Jones, mm -hmm. uh, a BMSS representative, and we want three, correct? HR. Right, and you all can, um, if you all know someone that's worked in HR before, like Mr. Randall Miller. From well, didn't you say Ms. Val Jones had? Yes. Okay. And, and uh, I don't know if Mr. Miller, I forgot what else he did, but if you all know, uh, you may know somebody that you all can bring for as a treasurer or something like at a bank or something. Yeah. They may want to be a part. Some people are going to turn it down and say, no, I don't want to be a part. Right. So. I would hate this. I mean, I'm just thinking out loud again. I mean, I just make sure they're available to be, you know, a part of it every step of the way. Once you start, you know, the depth of the interview process. Right. I think anybody on the finance committee should have the option to be able to be a part of that. I think so. The well, it interview says, process. It says, I don't think we should says, uh, shut anybody out. It says uh, it's you all. the committee starts the interview process and encourage all council members to attend if possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, and then we add, right. if we add it, if we ask Val Jones if she wanted to do it, if we ask BMSS if they wanted to, mm -hmm. or, I mean, we could ask somebody locally if they wanted, I, I don't know, I don't yeah. care. Yeah, and so, so we got, so the interview committee, uh, it, there, are, there are no declarations to how many people it is, but I don't think we should have more than three that can just get intimidated. Yeah. Um. So you say that again. So when we do interviews, who do you see sitting in on the interviews? Well, the, we won't be interviewed. Okay. So, so you know, this takes the politics out of it. That's yeah. the whole point of forming okay. this other committee. That's, okay. that's what I was trying to I'm following explain you. about Tuscaloosa. Yeah. You know, the mayor makes the appointments, but he creates this whole other committee yep. that, that goes through the interview process and everything, so that keeps the politics out of it. Gotcha. Um, and, and that's what this is talking about. So, okay. you know, that's that step one is decide what committee needs to chair the position, but that's what council, that should say what council committee needs to chair the appointing position. And then the council committee selects the additional members to help with the interview process. Okay. Which, which is some of you all that sits on that interview process as well. Uh-huh. Um, last interview process I was a part of when we did the police chief and the uh, fire chief, the council president sat in on every single it said, Yeah, it, so it says, uh, hang on, I will keep going through this real quick. So in step three, the committee now refers to the interview committee. So the, they're, you know, it did not, uh, it didn't change that. So the interview committee in, a, in HR, which we, which we added, meets to set up the job postings and announcements. So this, this would be their first meeting, technically, you know, for that interview committee. It's the way I'm seeing this. Um, 
and then and then so from there on it's, it's referred to as the interview committee and then it goes back to the council which of course is the finance committee okay um, so does the interview committee make recommendations to the finance committee to make a decision yeah the, the interview committee may, recommends the final three applicants i mean that's that's where it comes to the council is in those final three applicants isn't that how it worked before I remember following it, so yeah, we, but, but, yeah. but the council sat in on the, and it yeah. says that on the, the rules during the interview process, council and mayor may submit two questions to the interview panel. Mm -hmm. the panel will select five to seven questions. The panel is the non-political panel, you know, it's going to select the questions that are not signed on by my name or the mayor's name, so they just select the best questions. So we'll be selected. Yeah, even, even if it even the whole step, even with the interview committee in the process, is always two to three council members that sits on it all right. the time. Right. Even in the you know picking so, part of it, the questioning part of it, you all ask questions as a part of that committee too, along with HR and whoever else. It's like two or three council members that can be a part of that committee. Yeah. Okay. All right. So during the interview process, only the panel will ask questions. Mm -hmm. Whomever sitting in on the process will have to sit in on the entire. That's big letters, process. During the entire interview process, please no comments in or outside of interviews. Panel or committee may make recommendations with explanation based on the rate sheets, which is where HR has these rate sheets. So, so that's what we're looking at there. Um, but, but what we've got to do is create this interview panel, I guess, so to speak. I think I'm following. You think, you think, uh, and, and, that, and that's, I think that's where we, we, when we were going through these process, these, this uh, procedure, we, we missed that. And we step want to change two. it to interview, jump from committee to interview committee and then back to committee? Yeah, our interview panel. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what we need to do is come up with a committee and not necessarily be worried about we're not going to have to pour through resumes to come up with three applicants we're just going to come up with a committee that's going to do that that's just that's right. Right. the committee recommends the final three applicants to the council so that means that we'll be as the committee bring the three resumes back to us yes as the council yeah uh -huh. yeah and then we and then we choose from the third right and at that point we can we can enter that's what we're intending to change i know <laughs> she, I think she's, she's been, she's she's been, been burned, burned a couple of times, and I think she just she doesn't want to get burned again. I think that's yeah, the ultimate. I understand. I mean, you yeah. know, she doesn't trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that what it is was uh, Councilwoman Thomas instead of her separating the treasurer, since that is a state appointed position, instead of her saying, No, I don't want the mayor part of that because he never has been in the past at all because it's totally the council, instead of her just separating that from the tax collector and the rest of them. Since the tax collector and all of those are the ones that's newly been taken since 2019. Yeah. Yeah. And, I think that's yeah, the and, and treasurer could be appointed by the mayor too. Really? Council allows. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, kind of gets that seventy checks and balances. Uh, it does. Yeah. There, there's a there's a point in, in uh, yeah. that's why the clerk is also typically a council appointment. I mean the clerk is. Uh, is tax and license and treasurer in most small cities. Yeah. Um, Let me get my resume together. At a council meeting, get your resume together. The choice of vote will then be motion for the newly yeah. appointed personnel. Okay. So, so we need, we got, I mean, our, our main thing that we need to do before we leave here come up with three people <laughs> or I, I would say five okay I would say five and maybe we should leave one of these people for for the, for the mayor I'm fine with that I have no problem with that whatsoever uh, for the mayor to appoint somebody not I'm him perfect. himself I'm perfect with that. just because that that can get political the whole point is to take the politics out of it yeah. so so we need to come up with four four people and we'll let the mayor come up with one person to be part of the so what we're saying is, are we in agreement that Val Jones would probably be somebody good based on her experience? I don't know Val. I wouldn't know if she was. I know the name, and I know she was. She's done okay. before, so. All right. All right. Come on, Val. 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 Come on, Val.
current HR, right? Ms. Rutledge, is that right? Yes. All right, so Ms. Rutledge. Uh, BMSS representative. Last BMSS. Um, we need one more. I mean, I think, I think it would be good to have somebody. I'll do it. I don't have Since, 
since I'm a part of this committee, do one of y'all want to reach out to BMSS and ask them if they will be a part of this process? I don't. I don't mind asking Stephen. Yeah. I've, I've stayed in touch with him. Okay. Okay. All right. So if you'll reach out to him and ask him, what about? I guess Miss Rutledge knows she's by default. I guess if nothing else, that's the right word. She's part of the process. She'll definitely know tomorrow night at the meeting. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Are you gonna keep him? Are you gonna keep him in line, Miss Ellison? I'll say it real loud. Just like it. Just like it. Make sure he stays in line and does what he's supposed to do. That's a hard task. Uh, <laughs> what about Miss Jones? I don't know Miss Jones. I'll reach out to her. Will you? Okay. I'll reach out and say, Hey, Miss Jones, Councilman Troy Harper would like to know if you want to be on the um, committee. She'll say who? <laughs> Hopefully, I haven't made him mad. What else? All right. Um, what, what you got? Did we go through all that? Yeah, that was it. Those were just okay. questions that kind of stimulate thought. The only thing I had. We, we got stimulated. Yeah, we did. I <laughs> wish Miss Janney would have just stuck around. I wish she would have too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. Now, yep. There's a lot of speculation out there that our HR director is not certified. Is does anybody have any information on that? I have no clue. Because if she's not certified, it might as well be a citizen. I, mean, she I, I, I remember the mayor saying that she had an HR degree when when the hour. Mm -hmm. Now, now, okay, I, now I found I found today in the. Um, uh, in the code that, uh, uh, let's see, hang on, that, no, this is on Municode, so you never know uh, if it's exactly right, because uh, it may not be updated, but it says that uh, personnel director shall be nominated by mayor and confirmed and approved by city council shall hold office at the will of the mayor and the council. Mm. Mm. That's as clear as day. So I mean I you know we you know this is just some of those things we gotta clean up. Because yeah, <laughs> Municode may not and I've sent Municode.com two or three things just asking them, saying I know this isn't right, please clear this up. And they came back with, oh yeah, we'll put this on the charge for blah blah blah. And I was like, whoa, what's our what's our contract here? You know? <clears throat> What are you just trying to make more? Whatever it is, if it's ABC or 123 or QX, well, we just need to know what we're supposed to be doing. That's right. The biggest thing. Right. Uh, what do we utilize? Do you know if we utilize Aaliyah's background check when we're hiring people? Which is checking public record to make sure they're not a child molester. We're supposed to do that. Yeah. Okay. Is that by law, I think? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're on tape. Public knowledge now. Did we check out Spencer Collins? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Call you know, whatever his name is. I'm just going to Well, I mean, he worked in state, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, since he was the head of the Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we can't uh, on Spencer Collins. I don't have anything else. I don't have anything else. I think it was very productive. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Yeah. Meeting adjourned. Well, you.